Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. It's another Forrest Fenn type situation. A Michigan jeweler buries $1 million in gold, silver, and diamonds from Detroit in a new treasure quest in the Upper Peninsula. Let's explore! Yes, for those viewers of mine in the Upper Peninsula, I know of at least two. Well, there is a treasure waiting for you, possibly, uh, with $1 million in gold, and silver, and diamonds. That's right, a Michigan jeweler has cleaned out his store in the name of adventure. Johnny Perry, owner of J&M Jewelers in McCobb County, and his wife Amy Perry, buried $1 million in gold, silver, jewels, and antiques across Michigan from Detroit, from Metro Detroit, to the Upper Peninsula. Starting August 1st, the treasure will be up for grabs to registered treasure quest hunters. After 23 years, J&M Jewelers is closing following a month-long forced temporary closure related to the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. The monthly treasure quest will provide a new source of income for the Perry family. Registration for each hunt is $50. So it's like a cross between the Finn treasure and the other one that was done in Canada some time ago. Johnny Perry could have sold the contents of the shop and retired. Instead, he put his entire life investment into the ground with an ideal hope and dream to give all fun and venture and bonding with each other and the memories that will last a lifetime, he said, in the Treasure Quest website. After going stir-crazy while stuck at home amid the pandemic, Johnny Perry and his then fiance began outdoor adventuring. Those adventures led him to realize he wasn't truly happy in his business and to the idea of turning his inventory into a treasure hunt. At the time of my life, hiding the treasure, but I'm even more excited about hearing the stories of those who are about to venture out to seek it, Johnny Perry said on the website. The first quest begins at 10 a.m. on the 1st of August in Oakland County. The prize is two 100-ounce bars of three nines fine silver, which is worth about $4,200. The winner will have to be uh, to option to keep the bars or to sell them back to Johnny Perry. All right, so there you go. You can sell them directly right back to him. The September hunt will be for eight 10 ounce silver bars, 10 one ounce Walking Liberty coins, 40 one ounce Buffalo coins, 21 ounce Prospector coins, and 50 one ounce miscellaneous silver coins for a total of 200 ounces of three nines fine silver. Other future treasures have not been released. Go to johnnytreasurequest.com to register for the hunt, and registered hunters will have access to clues, maps, puzzles, and riddles. All right, here is the quest there, so you can check that out. The treasure lies in an adventure. Very cool. There they are. Fascinating indeed to see this. Be able to get some uh, stacking silver. The first ones are going to be registered 50 bucks. So there it goes. Remind you of the thing we talked about last year, but pretty, pretty neat, pretty interesting. Whereas a Forrest Finn, it just put it out there. He put it out there, and there was no, um, there was nothing else. You didn't have to pay anything for it there. Uh, but here, the uh, Forrest Finn sh hidden treasure may have been discovered in early June, but that hasn't stopped fortune hunters from speculating about where it is hidden. When Finn, a former art dealer from Santa Fe, New Mexico, announced the discovery. He did not say who found his cachet worth more than a million bucks or where they are from, other than back east. So it did raise speculation. People uh, definitely uh, raised questions when I posted a video about this. Um, Billings therapist David McFarlane in a June 10th Billings Gazette story claimed he solved the riddle just before Finn's treasure was discovered. The location, he believed, was near Woodbine Falls along the Stillwater River in Montana. After listing his solutions to the Finn riddle, which is meant to guide secrets to the treasure, McFarland said, I dare anybody to figure out a better solve. A few folks took him up on his dare, the Billing Gazette reported. 
A Pine Utah grandmother, Jeanette Kapler, believes she found a hole where the treasure has been hidden. A boggy area in northern Yellowstone National Park between Swan Lake and Mammoth Hot Springs. Using clues she found on Google Earth. Um, and then there was another case in California and, and in Colorado. Um, and all these different stories. But the speculation is that even with the reported solving of Fenn's riddle and supposed discovery of the hidden riches, the mystery of all continues to gnaw at treasure hunters. The Billings Gazette received emails from other seekers, including residents of Ohio and New Jersey, who did not return calls seeking more information. Was there ever a treasure? Did Fenn recover it himself because some hunters were getting close? If not, why is the person who found the treasure remaining silent? Are they afraid of being mobbed by the media or people seeking to swindle them out of their hard-earned fortune? We may never know. One Billings resident who remained anonymous said he helped a man from Ohio find the treasure. It was buried in southwest Wyoming, he said. Red Lodge resident Rex Buring said his wife Casey had hung Fenn's poem on her mirror to analyze the clues. They believe the treasure has been hidden in the West Yellowstone region near the Madison River. Fenn never spent any time in the Stillwater River, Burring said, but did spend time in West Yellowstone. When news of their treasure being found spread, Burring and his wife were disheartened. They had planned to return to the West Yellowstone area this spring and resume their search. Gosh darn, we had our four or five people call us. It was a letdown. I'm going to go out now and look to shed more horns. He also searches for golf balls. He found 79 in one day. Uh, he counted 1,600 balls in one day. But I'd rather have the treasure, the big treasure. So there is speculation out there about that. Fascinating indeed. Any of you Michiganders out there, are you interested in this thing? Post your thoughts in the comment section below. We'd like to, I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.